what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me into this video. I'm going to be doing a try on haul. I got a few things from Sephora that have been on my wish list for a while and some others from Look Fantastic since they had a really nice sell on Shantakai products. So I picked up some of their liquid products that I wanted to try for a while and I am very excited to show them to you all and show you, you know, my complexion pretty much. So if this is the first time here, I am Gigi. I am a registered nurse obsessed with skincare, beauty and makeup. Here on my channel, we do a lot of unboxing, hauls, try-ons, first impressions, all that good stuff. So if that's the content that you enjoy, go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe. And also go to my Instagram because over there I do keep you posted on your makeup sales, makeup releases, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's start. Alright okay, guys, so let's begin. And as mentioned, I am going to be doing a try-on haul. I purchased a few things um, from Sephora and from Look Fantastic. So I wanted to show you just my first impressions on them. Starting off with the La Mer Foundation, which has been on my wish list for like forever. So I purchased this uh, from Sephora. I also got one of the Tower 28 Bronzino, but I got the lightest shade because I wanted it as a highlighter. And then I went ahead when Look Fantastic had 25% uh, off from Shantakai, which I told you all to go right in it because every time Look Fantastic has one of those cells, they're usually really good. So I purchased their Radiance Gel Bronzer, which only comes in one shade. So we're gonna be trying this out. I also purchased another of their Cheek Gelet. I got this shade uh, Lively. So I'll show you close-ups in a minute. And then I got this shadow, which I always wanted. That lion is just so powerful and beautiful. So anyways, I'm excited to try all these goodies. Um, but also Shandakai was kindly enough to send me some things and I wanted to try, especially this guy with you. It is their anti-pollution mattifying moisturizer. This is a mattifying and lightweight cream infused with ingredients that shield against airborne pollutants. Um, stem cells and lentil extract shrimps, the appearance of pores for refined looking skin. It is enriched with antioxidant, a metal binding complex that provides a barrier against damage causing heavy metals. This is what the packaging looks like. And because it says that it refines, you know, the appearance of pore and things like that, I thought we could use it as a makeup primer. Right now, I'm looking a little shiny and I did correct my dark circles, you guys, because I am looking rough. Um, so this is the consistency. It is like a um, gel-like consistency. It's not runny by any means. So I'm gonna use this as my moisturizer. I have right now some sunscreen on and that's all. So this has a light scent but nothing, it just, it's not fragrance, it's just maybe botanical scents. And this just feels amazing, like it's just so silky and like thick, which I love. Um, let me look close up to my pores and see if it did anything. So this product synced in very, very nicely, very quick. And I love the finish. It is really mattifying. So it really took away all that shine that I had and also a little bit of the redness. I do feel like my skin looks a little bit more even and just more, um, yeah, just even and perfected. I really like the finish of this product. So if you have oily skin, I think you're really gonna enjoy a product like this. Uh, in here, you get 40, ml of product so one fluid 1.3 fluid ounces of product so when Shantakai runs sales and even like look fantastic I think that's an amazing time to you know purchase things from them because I know they could be pricey so next up we're gonna be trying the La Mer foundation this has been on my wish list as I said forever I picked up the shade 240 buff and I don't know I don't know. I, ha I haven't even looked at the bottle. Okay, so I think, oh, why is this so oily? I think it was, it was somehow opened. Oh. All right, I went ahead and cleaned it out. Uh, this is the bottle, if you haven't seen it. It is pretty. Um, it is a frosted glass bottle. As I said, I got the, me the shade um, Buff 240. So let's go ahead and pump and see the consistency. Okay, so the consistency is runny. So as you can see, oh, it's looking a little bit dark. Let's do half of our face. I'm gonna take my 101 BK Beauty brush, which is one of my 
most loved brushes for foundation. This really packs um, foundation beautifully. And I do have a coupon code with BK Beauty if you ever wanted to get some money off on their site. They are running actually a sale for Mother's Day. I think like 20 or 30% off site-wide, which I think is really awesome. So I, I will leave all details in my description box. the soft fluid long wear foundation SPF 20 it retails for 155 Canadian dollar and is a weightless natural looking foundation with buildable coverage for luxurious long wear the coverage is medium the, the finish is natural it is a liquid the silky lightweight formula helps maintain balance and provides buildable coverage it leaves skin with visibly plump with hydration fine lines and wrinkles look softened and the look of pores and imperfections are diminished the UV protection defense against future damage this foundation also stays true and even in humidity so this looks really nice i think it lives up to its claims it looks very glowy my skin looks very hydrating i do agree that it has a beautiful you know medium coverage it is very natural i can still see through my skin um i'll show you a close-up in a minute i do want to apply concealer because i'm like dying right here So with this foundation, I would like to highlight a little bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of concealer in my T-zone, but I did wanted to show you the finish. So as mentioned, um, it is very natural. You can see the glow, and I don't know if you can see my sunspots right here and some of my hyperpigmentations. I really like the finish. I think it looks beautiful. So looking very glowy and very very natural i'm kind of loving the finish of these guys so far um let's go ahead and apply this gel product by shantakai this is a sheer fluid gel bronzer that delivers a light reflecting radiance and sculpting effect it enhances natural color with a luminous glow this formula contains our raspberry stem cells and it is rich in antioxidant components And this looks really beautiful, very glowy, as you can see, but it dries down. Yesterday, I put it at the back of my hand. I just wanted to see the color, and it looked beautiful. It really dries down to a powdery finish, just like their Gelee uh, blushes. Um, this is one of my favorite liquid blushes ever because they do set down so beautifully, so powdery. They're a stain, and so they last a ton on your complexion. And I have the shade Happy, which is my pinky holy grail blush. But then I wanted this corally one. This is in the shade Lively uh, or Lively. So this is what it looks like. Oh, took out too much. But this Wow, this is stunning. Such a beautiful 
um, coral shade. I know I'm looking a little crazy, but we're gonna set everything. I didn't set my foundation, so that's why I'm looking extra glowy. But I love this shade. I think it's so, so pretty. Okay, so this is the color up close. Such a beautiful coral shade. I'm loving it. Let's set this face because it's looking too crazy and it's because I didn't set, you know, even my under eyes, which who am I? I always send my under eyes right after I do my concealer, but I was carried away. I really want to try those liquid products, my shoulder guy. I'm using here my Sicily powder. I mean, we're using, um, you know, a pricey foundation, so might as well use some Sicily with it, right? Oh, and this brush by BK, the 105, is so big and pretty to, you know, just to set everywhere. If you're looking for a huge um, powder brush, this is perfect. And I know I applied a lot of setting powder, so I took away a lot of that shine that the both of Shinsuke Guy products had, but I don't mind, to be honest. I I wanted to set it because this foundation was too glowy, it's driving me nuts. Let's try out the Tower 28 Bronzino product. So as mentioned, I got Suncoast, which is the lightest that they released, and I wanted it because it looked like this so I thought it could be a beautiful golden highlighter so let's do a little swatch so this is it yeah it's beautiful sorry about the angled I did such a bad job at that but yeah this is exactly what I was looking for something golden um, to try their formula so I'm gonna wipe this angle brush by refer and I am going to apply it like this oh yeah beautiful I really like it. It was exactly what I envisioned it to be. I wanted something um, easy to apply and I love, I love Tower 28 blushes. So I knew they weren't gonna disappoint. Now, this was on my skin for a good two minutes and it's still sticky. So I like to apply just a tiny bit of loose powder so that I'm not, you know, sticky because I don't like that sticky feel. But other than that, this is beautiful. It has a little bit of, um, you know, just very delicate specks of golden, it's not glitter, it's just golden reflex. But it is beautiful. I am loving this. All right, and next up for my eyes, I just wanna do something very simple with Shantakai's eyeshadow, which is this one. I wanted to try their Lion shade. The luminescent shade for a minute and so since it was on sale by look fantastic I thought you know why not this is the color so beautiful golden look at that lion it's just such a beautiful packaging I just can't get enough of these luminescent shades I want them all um, so I'll just do something very simple I'm gonna throw on some bronzer on my crease and then I'll throw that and we should be good to go.
Alright guys, and that's my completed makeup. Um, I pretty much loved everything that I tried on today's video. Starting off with the moisturizer by Shanda Kai, I really love it. I loved the finish of this. Um, the consistency is very softening, very blurring, and just perfecting to the complexion. So I think this is going to make a beautiful um, primer for spring and summer for me that I have combination skin because it's not going to make me overly do but it's just gonna you know make me matte but not too much I think it's beautiful um La Mer foundation I love it I see the hype I see why people really love it it looks beautiful it just looks natural it looks very soft it, yeah I like it I'm not in love with the color though I think I could have done with a lighter shade and I don't love the fact that this is broken so I think I'll contact Sephora and I'm gonna take a look at the other shades like the a lighter shade and see if I can change it for that because it is a pricey foundation I want to be able to have my perfect match. Next up these two guys from Shandakai I loved I love them both but this is nice it is very like glowy very beautiful it is really natural it gives you a lot of warmth so you you gotta love your warmth um you know but for spring and summer it's gonna be beautiful i was able to sculpt with it you know and bronze at the same time so i think this is a great shade they only have one and i was surprised how dark it is like it really shows up so that's something very nice let me do a proper swatch because i don't i don't think i did one so that's the color you can see so people with tan complexion would definitely get you know be able to use it um it is sheer but not too sheer it is beautiful it's also very, very pretty i love the tone of it i love how easy it is to apply these don't play like they're just so easy to use very very easy and i feel like the price is right for the amount of product that you get how easy they are to blend like you don't really have to worry about you know will it lift my foundation will it nothing like that this one by tower 28 was beautiful it was exactly what i was looking for i wanted something like this i saw some swatches and i just i, I could picture it in my mind being this beautiful golden glow and it is exactly what i wanted it is beautiful i can just see myself using a ton of you know their blushes and then put this atop like this i think it's just really complements my complexion it's just stunning love love this shade last but not least the luminous and shadow in lion i don't know i really love them i think that they're just so easy to apply they're just your one and done shadow i love that um and this one with bronzer just did uh you know it just did the job and then a darker brown i did a little bit of a wing with brown um shadow but that was it so easy to apply you can use your fingers you can use your brush if you do your fingers um they're gonna give you pigmentation if you wet your brush then it's gonna give you a ton of it i feel like the sparkles in here are just very beautiful really stunning they they just bring a lot of light to your eyelids and i love that so alrighty, friends and that's it for now thanks so much for watching let me know what do you think of the cream products are you into cream products for spring and summer which ones are your must have go to products let me know drop them below thanks so much you guys for your love and support don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye